Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today is going to be a day of putting little videos in there. Remember when Jessica was up in the barn making a checkerboard with Jim? He was cutting the board for her because she couldn't cut the board. Well, she could cut the board, but it's easier if she does it at my house because he has the tools. And then you're going to see the board after she painted it. And then you're going to see the final finish on it where it's it's when she read what she put it's on an epoxy it? epoxy on clear it. epoxy and it's really shiny in fact you'll see a lot of glares and you'll see our reflection and it's really it's really very nice and then you'll see the checkers that she drew the crown on and she thinks they're sloppy i don't think they're sloppy i think they're pretty darn neat well, they were a, a dowel that she had yeah, that I, we showed cut the, into. I showed the dowel in the second in the second video when she painted it I showed what the dot what the checkers were going to be cut out of this big hunk of dowel and I'm also going to show you there's going to be a little video where I'll show you how we we buy coffee in the largest container because of, we check the price to see which is the cheapest one and to get it you buy it in the larger container sometimes that's not always the cheapest to buy. You have to look at the um, price per pound or ounce or however they do it. And um, I will show you how I put it put it from that large container into a smaller container because I don't want to have to get out the big container every time. And I don't want to have to clean up a mess if I fill the smaller container. This is something that my father used to do and he used to keep his coffee in a quart jar and he had to fill it from the large can and it it was actual cans where you had to use a can opener to open them where now they have this this cellophane -y stuff aluminum foil looking stuff that you peel off you don't even need a can opener to open a lot of things anymore and it's done. No. Yeah. beautifully done would have been nice if, if it didn't come all the way all through all the way through the yeah that's all right it's i may even can, fill it in with um glitter in between the grooves, put some kind of something that fills it in as a liner, you like could, ground, yeah. not ground, but that idea. But I would do it just on the edge to make it look to dirty. give this border. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Looks good to me. Where's my checkerboard again? It's better than where I was started. <laughs> More continued from where I had started. Well, good job. Well done. Jessica painted her board, the checkerboard, and, this, and she brought it by to show me. Look at how nifty and neat it looks. And then she's going to have this dowel is going to be cut to make the, the checker pieces. So this will be a really nice board. It'll last forever. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? Oh my goodness, look at the reflection in the, it's super in shiny. the window. I'm getting a reflection every time I move. Wow, it's see that? Loss. See that? Let me see if I can get the reflection off of it. There, maybe, nope, it's still, now it's reflecting us. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. And these are your, and, and these the are your checkers. These are really nice. Look at this. My marker you ran paint. out, so I had to paint it. So they're not as neat as I would have hoped. Well, but they're, they're beautiful. They work. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Those kids better really appreciate this. After but a day, it won't scratch or nothing. It's got one more day to cure. The, look at you're seeing my window. Is that uh -huh. my window you're seeing? Uh-huh. Oh, no, that's the lights. Lights? You can turn the lights off yeah, and see if that... Oh, yeah, I see you walk across. Turn off. There we go. Well, everybody, enjoy. <laughs> now there's no glare. Well, there's a yeah, there's still a glare. shine from no the window. window. But that's okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Hey. Let me take it outside and see what it does. Where's the moon, Ellie? Let's go outside. Okay. Okay. Hey, so Jakey. So that my shadow's not on it. Let me see which way will I be. I want to see okay. the baby. Let's see. I can't so even shiny. See. Oh, wow. Look at that. <gasps> Jake, you can move back. You don't want to. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. Come Holy here, macaroni. This is gorgeous. There's two chickens where, honey? Two chickens in this box. Oh, well, they're trying to use the same spot? No. No? 
Wow, that's gorgeous. Let me see. Oh, no, 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 you don't use that. You don't do that. You just go like this. And you open. And there's Emma. And she's, she says, I'm sitting on my babies. Leave me alone. See her? Yep. She's really, she doesn't like us bothering her. She is really. See our reflection? Look at us. They're in the, we're in the, say hi. There they go running off. Run, 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 run. I want to catch you running. Go, 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 girl. Maybe, oh, you're not as pretty running. It's those big ones that run. Yep, there's Dorothy and her baby. Her babies are getting so big, look at them. And that one's got a little tough on its head. Yep, I saw that. Amazing, yeah, they are cute. I'm going to show you how we take, we buy the coffee in the very large containers, but we don't like to handle this every time, so we put it in a small can. This is an old can. This is a can we've had for a very long time. In fact, I don't even, this was decaf coffee. We don't drink decaf. But this is what we bought, in case you wonder what kind of coffee I drink. And I just go by the container. I don't even look, I don't even check to see whether what it is down there but this is medium and when, when we open it up of course it's brand new and they used to have it where you had to use a can opener now they've got it where you just pull and let's hope I can pull oh yeah and you pull the this off you don't even need a can opener anymore but you need muscle Okay, and after you get it pulled, this is a cover from another can kind of pot, um, coffee, and we cut a little spout out. And luckily, it just fits these containers. Barely. And barely, yeah, because when it was on the can, it was actually easier. And then we take it, and you just pour, and this way you're not spilling your coffee all over. And you can fill your can. And shake the coffee back in so that it you don't make a mess. And then I just take the cover and go like that. Then I put the other cover back on and put my little coffee thing in there and we're done. Okay. I was wondering. This is my question of the day. How many of you and what time do you start to feel tired? It seems to hit me about 6, 6.30. Right just before I'm supposed to do the videos is when I get tired. It's like, I could go take a nap. But you don't want to take a nap now because I have to go to bed pretty soon. I don't want to not be able to sleep through the night. Because I sleep pretty much through the night. I might wake up, I might wake up around 3.30 and go into the bathroom because I know Jim's going to get up pretty soon and I want to make sure I can get in the bathroom before he does and then I will go back to sleep and then I then he he leaves for work around quarter to five about yeah, there. Five, quarter to five five yeah and I sleep until about 6 30 and then I get up because now the sun is shining through my window if it's because it's been a sunny day and it wakes me up which I like the sunshine. When it's when it's dark and gloomy, it seems like I sleep later. But what time of the day do you start to feel tired? And you know, I drink coffee that's not decaffeinated, so um, the coffee does not keep me awake. And I drink coffee just before I go to bed, so the caffeine does nothing for me. For those of you that drink those power drinks that because they've got caffeine in them to, to give you energy, doesn't work for me. So maybe um, maybe a decaffeinated would do the energy. I don't know. I don't know. But that's it for today. And oh, somebody else said, in fact, I didn't bring it in. They said that I sort of seem like a romper room lady, which I have do have a magic mirror. I think it was Mr. G. Not Farmer G, but Mr. G. I think his name is. Um, he mentioned it. And I actually do have a, a magic mirror that if I put it up, I can see who's watching me. And I just might do it. 
someday again and see who's really inside that lens. I can see you in that lens when I use the magic mirror. Otherwise, I don't see anybody. I'm talking to myself. This is sad. But that's it, I guess. I'm rambling now. <laughs> you're talking to me. I'm talking to you. Yeah, Jim's over <laughs> on that side of the room, but I'm looking at you, you in the camera. Yes. Because that's where my eyes focus. But I can see. But, you know, I can see him over here. <laughs> this <laughs> eye shows me him over there. I've got pretty good um, vision, apparently, for the peripheral, for peripheral, peripheral vision. Yeah, because I can see quite a ways. I can see my bookcase, even. I can see the, the um, stuff behind the door. <laughs> I have stuff behind the door. So that's it. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.